<laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm delighted to introduce my new friend. I met her about, what, a month ago, five weeks ago, in her, in her building, The Vault. And um, she's just done some amazing things. I had the privilege to join. I had invited her to lunch last month. She couldn't make it. I met her the next day, and she gave me a full tour. And so if you're ever lucky enough to be around where you can tour the whole building, Take her up on it because it's really interesting with many, many things to do with it. Shell Park. Hi, thanks everyone for having me here. I'm, I'm really quite thrilled. Um, my name is Shell Park. I am, I've been in Kenosha for about eight years and um, I started out as a middle school teacher. So I was a middle school teacher in DeKalb, Illinois for almost 20 years and retired from teaching and came up here to be with my now husband. And since then, I've been working with um, many different groups trying to help to empower women of all ages and walks of life. And so because of that, I fell into a bridal store and now own Shell's Bridal. It's on the fourth floor of the North National Bank building. And in doing that, I've had the opportunity to do things like meet pageant girls and work with young women in, um, that are going to prom or young women that are getting married or older women that are getting married and just had a great opportunity to work with all of them. And in doing that, at 43 years old, I ended up in a pageant. And at 43 years old, I won a national title. Um, since then, I've won three national titles and have two first runner-ups and the five captains that I've done. Um, I am currently the owner of Sweethearts of America pageant, which Tracy competed in for the first time this year and won the national title. Um, the Sweethearts of America pageant is for two years old or walking age through as old as, well this year was 62, but we have had some girls that were older than that, bucket list kind of thing, you know, you get to do something that's really, really exciting. So, I don't know, have any of you ever been in a pageant? No. Um, I went into the pageant not knowing anything. I really, seriously not knowing anything. When it comes to pageants, you see the John Bonet women D stories, you see the toddlers and heroes and stuff, and you see, oh, well, this might not be what I want for myself, my family, my kids, whatever. Um, and I found out that that's not at all what pageants are about. In fact, pageants are about empowering women, teaching interviewing skills, helping young ladies develop a sense of self-confidence, and the ability to speak in front of other people. And so those things I was able to bring back with me and now do myself. So I don't know if any of you have ever been to the Kenosha Bridal Network's um, bridal shows, but um, I started that group five years ago. I'll bet. It made sense since I had the bridal store to try to get people in there who also did things in the bridal, in the bridal market so that we were actually able to share things with other people with businesses in Kenosha and be able to share our experiences together. So in doing that, my, my platform as a pageant girl is dream big, women can do big things. And I am actually, this is the first time I'm going to announce this, but I'm actually running for Ms. America next year. Um, so I've already sent all of the paperwork, but they won't have a, the actual pageant until next March or April. So um, I do own the vault, which also was kind of one of those things I stumbled into because I am in the wedding industry and do wedding planning. I went down there and the building had been empty for 20 years and I just, I was like, what are you gonna do with this? Now that you guys, we have a new owner, what are you going to do with this building? When I found out it was way too expensive for me to put a bridal store in there, I was like, wait a minute, why am I driving to Lake Geneva in Chicago every weekend? Um, and while I would have the ball. If you get a chance to go in there, it's really amazing. The building is the old Kenosha National Bank building, and we have 
the main floor, which holds 250 people. We have the basement floor, which has the vault in it. It's also got a lot of antique chandeliers and antique furniture through, throughout Kenosha. So everything's meant to be Kenosha-based. Then we have a second floor, which has another, um, like it's big enough for like a bridal shower or baby shower, something like that, 50 people. And I mean, it's just, it's a, it's a really great part of our, our, of our Kenosha. So I just, I really appreciate you guys letting me share my experiences. And I'm looking forward to getting to know, especially you with the tax stuff, because I have not done my taxes yet. Um, <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting to know a lot of you. So thank you. So, so, so. I know this is a kind of different topic for us, right? We're very empowering women, but something that I didn't even know existed in Kenosha. Do you have any questions for Shell? You can open up for questions. We have a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Curious about this, or um, I had uh, want, I had hoped to go see the pageant because it started with little kids and then went, and I was busy that night. It just happened to be too soon, right? When we talked about it. It's kind of funny it. to think that there's a national pageant in Kenosha and you guys didn't know it was there, right? Yeah. So, um, this is our third year. I actually was the director for Miss Wisconsin United States before this. And so I went from being someone who knew, knew nothing about pageants to winning five myself and then ended up doing work with the United States system. I've been to Vegas for nationals and things like that. I've trained girls. I still train girls. Um, and basically what we're teaching them is interviewing skills and how to be poised in self-confidence. And, you know, I think that those things are really important life skills. And I did have somebody come up and attack me one day when I was, um, I was at an event. I was wearing my sash and crown. And she came up to me and for about 15 minutes kind of told me how terrible pageants were and she didn't believe in them and everything else. And, and I listened to her for a long time. And, you know, everyone has the right to their own opinion. But then I asked her to give me at least five minutes. And so I sat there and I was like, you know, I was 43 years old when I did my first pattern. I'm gonna be 50 this year. Um, I have seen these beautiful, educated women. They're not toddlers and tiaras. They're not, what's honey boo yeah. You know, they are beautiful, educated women and they're beautiful inside. What they look like the outside, doesn't matter. You can teach anyone to be poised and confident, no matter what they look like. And those are the girls who win the pageants. So I think that that's it. Tracy won for the first time this year. And I'm 55. <laughs> <laughs> so there's still hope for everybody. <laughs> so I mean, it's just it's it's really a great thing that we have here that we're working on building. And, having little girls have a place where they can go and train to just be able to talk to adults and things like that, I think is really a good thing. So, well, thank you very much for, for joining us today and sharing, and I'm sure you'll be around for a little bit afterwards if anybody wants to talk to you. All right, um, thank you.